I'm Hayes Sherman. I'm I'm Bobby Harden. So my first name is Hayes H A Y E S. And my last name is Sherman, S-H-E-R-M-A-N. Uh, mine's Bobby, B-O-B-B-Y, Harden, H-A-R-D-E-N. Yeah, so we were watching TV in the TV room. And then I heard Tupperware being opened, and I said, my mom and cousin would not be aggressively opening Tupperware at 12.30 in the morning. So we also, then we heard the fridge beeping because it was open for too long. So then I turned to Bobby and I said, Bobby, there is a bear in our house. Yes, we knew this wasn't, I, at first I thought maybe it was his mom, but it was getting so aggressive that we just, we thought this could be a bear. Yeah, and then so I was for certain it was a bear. So I called my mom on my watch because I didn't have my phone in the room. And I said, Mom, there is a bear in the house. And she said, I, she didn't believe me at first. And she was about to come downstairs. And I said, Mom, do not come downstairs. There's a bear in the house. So then she called the gate house because my house in Tahoe is a gated community. And a security guard from, she called the security guard from the gatehouse. I called the Placer County Sheriff. And I was on 911 on my watch. While, meanwhile, we both had to be quiet yeah. and hold the door. Yeah, I had to, he was trying to um, go, he was going in the corner, trying to be really quiet because we did not want the bear to know that we were in that room. Uh, and so I, while he was on the phone, I was at the door. Uh, holding it shut and it's a sliding door so it and it didn't lock so it just uh, kind of overlaps to to close so we really had to hold it in place so it wouldn't open and while this while the whole phone call was happening and the bear tried to get in there are scrap marks on the door and the bear bumped up against it, and that was the scariest moment of our life. It was shaking while we, we were holding it. The door was shaking, and we were shaking. We were trembling of fear. And uh, Bobby was holding the door from the side so that it shut fully, and I was holding it from the front with both hands so that the bear couldn't get in. And meanwhile, we had to be quiet. Was, we had turned all the lights off, and I was trying to call 911, so it was the scariest it moment really of our lives. It really was for both of us, yeah. Well, so the, when we saw, like, from the corner of the door, we saw a flashlight actually in the driveway, and we were, I told Hayes, and we were so excited that someone came. Uh, it was pretty quick, and we were so excited someone was going to rescue us. So then the sheriff came uh, inside, and the gatehouse uh, security guard was also there. And so the sheriff came, and we heard the front door open. And so I yelled out, can we come out now? just to make sure I didn't run out when the bear was in the living room. Yeah. And so, yeah, and so then the sheriff w and we were all right there and we were so excited that we were didn't die. And <laughs> <laughs> the sheriff yelled, everyone. Yeah. And the sheriff yelled, everyone, you can come out now. The bear is gone. So we went to the sheriff and we went to hug the sheriff. It was the most relieving moment of our life. We were so grateful for um, Allison, the sheriff, because she saved our lives. Yes. Um, and you can see in the video, actually, the sheriff come inside the door and we run out and all talk about what happened. We can get you the video if it doesn't work, if you don't have it all. Maybe I've been sending it to Marley the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, can you... If you send more than it? one video, it puts it in the cloud. Uh, Let's try email.
So we, when we got back from dinner, we came in through the garage because we were riding our hoverboards and we accidentally left the garage door open. So yeah, that was a mistake. We, the bear yeah. came inside from that. Um, yeah. So we left the garage door open and it, it went in the door and went inside and the garage is right next to the TV room. Uh, and it went in the garage after breaking into my mom's car and my cousin's car. Oh, sorry. It it ripped apart my sailing backpack and it took all the food and of my mom's car and my cousin's car. It totally destroyed the glove compartment. The glove compartment was on the floor. There were bare scratches. Yeah, and actually on the way home, back from Tahoe, I could see on the window uh, the bear marks from when the bear was inside the car. And I just realized that's like right on that window, The you could see the bear uh, like fingerprints, I guess, uh, while the bear was moving inside the car. And I actually took a picture of it and you can see it with the flashlight. And yeah, and there were bear prints everywhere. Uh, when the, there are bear prints on our fridge, on the car, there are bear scratches on our TV room door when it tried to get in. We, we both learned that always lock your car, lock your doors, lock your garage. Yeah, not Be leave it open uh, because for a bear to come inside. We learned to lock everything and make sure behind you everything is closed and locked. And we are so grateful yes. that now we have learned that lesson. His mom's actually uh, going to get a bear-proofing uh, carpet and a scent, like sensors for in, for in, in front of the door. And she's, in case we see it, we're gonna get there. we're gonna get a scent to spray that the bears don't like, and we're gonna get a a mat in front of the door that will shock the bears. But we have to be careful to turn it off when we're we're here, so it doesn't shock one of us. <laughs> we're at my house in San Francisco. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Basically. Like, I know. <laughs> no, I have it here. Yeah, okay, I actually, I also have one photo of the bear prints that I, we were talking about in the car. I have it too. So oh, I sent it to you. Okay. So I'll send everything. I'll send everything separately. So. Two four zero. Wait one sec. It's being difficult. Two four zero three five seven seven six nine three. Perfect. I'll copy that number. So I just sent the bear prints. Then now I'm gonna send one video. I'll just send them one by one. And just to confirm. Perfect. And so one or it's two four zero three five seven seven six nine three. Oh you just got that? Perfect. And now here's a video. Now it's not Let's sending us one. in iCloud. Let's see the one where the sheriff comes in. I'm just sending. Yeah, yes, we are. Or... I'm going to Bay High School next year, yeah, and he goes to Stern. Stern. I'm going to Stern School. Yes, it's downtown uh, Chinatown area on Kearney Street. Oh, um, you went to Lowell. Mm -hmm. That's cool. We know Lowell. Yeah, it's only, f it's just celebrating its 15th anniversary. Oh. So I'm sending, 
One, two, three, four, five, seven videos right now, and it's still loading, but it will work in a second. So we, I paused the TV show. Bobby and I got up to hold against the door, but I also at some moments had to go in the corner and yes. call 911. We actually had chapstick from where we were uh, staying and I put it under the um, bean bag just so the bear wouldn't smell it and try to get in thinking it was food. Uh, because I, I, I know that bears want to break in anywhere there's food. And so we, while we were holding the door, we opened it about an inch and it didn't make any noise just because it's a sliding door and we were able to open it a tiny bit. And we actually saw the bear about 10 feet away next to the fridge. And then uh, the bear turned and looked at us right when we opened it. It was six to seven feet standing up and it was only two years old so it can only grow bigger. The bear was, uh, while standing, the, the, the bear was six to seven feet. And then while just on its back, it was probably four feet. Well, so yeah. yeah. Well, that night, I was actually really scared that there was uh, another bear in the house. Even though we locked everything, we learned a lesson. I still, it, that was very, uh, like, it was our scariest moment of both of our lives. Yeah, it was the scariest moment, the most traumatic moment. We were both trembling. We were shaking up to half an hour after the incident happened. We and went to bed at about 4. 4 in the morning this, is when we went to bed. happened at 12.30. It happened at 12.30 and we went to bed at 4 because we were so scared and so awoken. It was an eye-opening experience. That's why it was so hard for us to go to bed. It was so much excitement because we uh, were alive after this. <laughs> we were so glad that this sheriff saved us from th this sheriff just got the bear out and we ran out and we were so happy after that yeah the experience was filled with emotions we were so grateful for the sheriff we were nervous about the bear we were relieved to be okay and we were just throughout all of this it was just such an adrenaline an adrenaline i don't know it was such it was such a amazing eye-opening experience Oh yeah, so the bear took two Ben and Jerry's pints from our freezer and shredded them open, ate it all. And then it took our taco meat from the fridge and it ate it on the couch. And it also, yeah, it sat down on the couch and ate the taco meat. It ripped open the Tupperware and, um, and it This was ate all caught on video, this, the bear walking. I'm not sure. I'll try to find it, but it, like... You can see the bear walking over uh, around to the living room, and you can see right right next to the couch the bear uh, ripping open the Tupperware. It, yeah, we have photos of the ripped open Tupperware, and it also ate these uh, berry crackers. It also left us... It left us a big present on our carpet. <laughs> I'm, my mom called four carpet cleaning services and none of them wanted to clean it up. So she did it herself. Yeah, it's not very professional. I just took it from my dad, but I can send it to you and look. Yeah. Okay.
Well, thank you so much, Ananda. Thank you. Thank so much. you. Bye. Bye. You too.